Guns N' Roses. Dreaming of a White Christmas. Serious, man. Go check it out. Killer song. Tune standard for this. I left my strap indoors, so I can't come up close on this one. So here's what you want to do. 3A, Merry Christmas, by the way, even though it's not here yet. Who knows when you're going to be watching this? Christmas Eve, man. You know what I mean? Santa's eggnog and rock and metal versions of Christmas songs. Come on, man. Okay, 3A, 5D, 5G. You're going to hit uh, two times, strings five through three. And then palm mute the A string on the third fret once. Bar that with your first finger, cause, or get ready to, because that's the next part. 3-3, three, three, D and G. 5-5, five, five, D and G. And then do that again, so it's... Okay. And then do the 3-3, three, three, D and G, to the 5-5, five, five, D and G again. So. Palm mute the A string third fret once, and then we're gonna change. Oops. Then go up to uh, 6A, 8D, 8G. And go. What's happened there? So you hit that once, strings 5, two, 4, and 3, and then move it a whole step sharp up to 10, 12, 12, A, D, and G. And then repeat that. Okay, it's going to go 7 times total of that. And then on the 8th one, you do half of it, which is this. Pretty much half of it. Where you do the 3, 3, D, and G. 5-5 five, five, D and G, 3-3 three, three, D and G, 5-5 five, five, D and G, and stop there. Go into this. Palm mute the open E, we're going to play chromatically, that means one fret at a time. Uh, you can down pick all this. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's like a finger exercise, really. So these, the cool thing, man, with getting these pieces of songs is there's they can be analyzed and subgrouped in so many different ways to apply to help your playing. Um, as a palm muting exercise, as a finger exercise, there's diff different ways to look at it that will help your playing. And then one, two on the A string, palm muted as well. And then, uh, this is White Christmas. Did I say the name of the song? I think I said the wrong name at the, at the beginning. Oh well. So we have. So let me show you what's happening there. Go um, 3A, 5D, 5G. So you're going to hit strings 5, 4, and 3 twice. And then palm mute off that A string two times. We're not lifting up anything here. And then hit the chord again, five, four, and three. So. And then palm mute off the A again, and then hit the chord again. Hit that chord twice. So. Make sure I got this right because he's doing a change up here. Yeah. Palm mute off the A twice, hit the chord again, 5, 4, and 3 on your string. And now open E. And then go 1 E, 3 A, 3 D. So you'll hit string 6, 5, and 4, and then palm mute the E string twice. You hit the chord twice. Then hit the chord again. And then palm mute off the E string twice. Now I haven't changed anything. That first finger is still on the first fret E. And then a uh, power chord here, 4D, 6G. 
Hit those two strings together once, and then move it to fifth and seventh fret. Same strings. Christmas, yeah. And then this part, I really, I like this part. Oops. So here's what's happening there. 3D, 5G, use first finger and third, you're going to see why here in a second. Palm mute off the D string twice, and then hit the power chord itself, which is strings 4 and 3. Then palm mute off that D string again. Your index isn't moving, it stays on that third fret D. And then go middle finger 4G, so we got to take our third finger off. Hit the strings 4 and 3. And then put that third finger right back down on the fifth fret G. And then palm mute off the D string again. It's a great subgroup, man, right there, just to repeat. What the heck's going on here? Then, a stretch and a half here. 3D, 7G. Hit those. And then palm mute the D string. Then get rid of that pinky and you're back to 3D, 5G. Hit those two strings. Palm mute the D. And then middle finger 4G. Index hasn't moved at all. Hit those two strings, D and G. And then put that third finger right back down on the fifth fret G. Hit strings 4 and 3. So the melody line is this. That's the melody of it. Okay, and then you're back to the... Now we'll go, this is where we're going to wrap it up. 3A, 5D, 5G, two times. I'll mute the A string two times, so you have... And then hit the chord again, strings 5, 4, and 3. I'll mute the A again. I'm just building it in pieces for you. And yeah, it might be moving fast, but you may have to rewind it, work on the subgroups, man, for like five minutes, and then go to the next part. And then hit the chord twice, so... Then go 1D, 3A, 1A. Okay, and then you start that verse over again. Coolness, huh? Cool song, Guns N' Roses. And um, I hope you guys have a good Christmas, man. It's been a crazy year, I know, for a lot of us. And um, a lot of crazy things happen in the world, but... Uh, Stay happy, man. Stay strong. We have 2013 coming, and I know for me I've got big expectations. And I already know a lot of things that are coming, and um, they're good things. So um, keep a healthy mindset. I really do hope the best for you guys, your families, and everything. And on to the next subject. If you're not subscribed yet to this channel, do so. And once you do that, send me your favorite songs. I'll get them for you the way these bands are doing them. Get the strings right, the tuning, all that, the frets and so on and so forth. If, being that Christmas is coming up, you know someone that's getting, like, say, a starter kit for guitar or something and they're learning, I do have a two-hour beginner's DVD. It's very affordable and very efficient. And um, hit me up. My email's rockinguitarlessons at hotmail.com and we'll get you set up with your copy of it. I do have a tutorial on this channel um, that talks all about it, so look for that if you're interested. Also, um, I have gift certificates if um, you know anyone that wants to do Skype lessons. And um, that's really a great way to personalize. I can see exactly where you're at, see how you're holding your pick, see how you're holding your fingers, see what habits are there. It's like taking lessons at a music store from a teacher, which I do that too, by the way. Um, so it's right up my alley. I know what to look for, and it's really a way to get some really killer results. Nothing beats private lessons one-on-one. -on -one. There's nothing. YouTube, nothing does. So... Um, let me know if you're interested. My Skype name is Rockin' Guitar Lessons. Add me only if you plan on doing the Skype lessons. You guys know how to contact me. If you have questions on this lesson, 
hit me up in the comment section. Be glad to um, help you out, get you pointed in the right direction. And um, I believe that's it. My website, rockinguitarlessons.com, that's coming in December of 2012. That means this month. And um, I know a lot of you guys have been super patient. I mean, for months and months for this. Thank you, you guys. It's we're right at the tail end of getting it ready to go. So, um, and that'll be a work in progress. Constantly adding new things to that for you guys. Jam tracks, everything. So thanks a lot, man. Appreciate you guys. We'll talk to you later, and have a merry Christmas. <laughs>